bags for you. Did you know that we have microscopic, uh, little kind of, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like these little kind of microorganisms that live on their eyelashes. They're all both like bacteria and texture, and they're on our eyelashes and they just stay there. That's weird to think about. Especially when you think about like, sometimes you get like an eyelash stuck in your eye. Like just think about like those little microorganisms getting stuck in your eye, like, ew. Um, and then I also have another fun fact because I got annoyed and started researching stuff. Um, it, the reason that your pubic hair is coarser is because when you're having sexual intercourse, um, you can get like rashes and stuff. Uh, from like you know repeatedly like slapping your shit against another person's shit you know genital rashing I don't know what they call it but they said that the pubic hair acts like as a buffer and then they also said that it helps like protect the sensitive area uh I don't know basically that's why because I was just wondering because like if you think about it our pubic hair is like like wire <laughs> compared to normal hair like, yeah. And I thought maybe it's just, like, the armpit hair, too. But the armpit hair isn't, you know, like, the armpit hair is, like, softer. So, like, I don't get it. So, I looked it up, and that's the reason why, so. The more you know, the more you learn. I don't know if that's even the saying. Hold on. I got, like, whiplash from moving so fast. <sighs> It's just because I'm so speedy. <sighs> the glare. Okay. Okay. Now I look like a pale piece of chicken. Because <sighs> I am a pale piece of chicken. Ow. That hurt. Uh, yeah, I still have a mountain range on my face. Surprise there. And then we also have a slight problem of me being a dumbass. Surprise. Um, because I have a shit ton of online homework to do, but I can't because we don't have Wi-Fi, which I believe I've mentioned this before, but the difference was last time I actually had hoped because I thought for some reason on my dumbass mind, I was like, the Wi-Fi will work at my dad's place, but it's the same Wi-Fi, so no, it's not going to work, and... It sucks because I have a shit ton of homework and they're not going to take my excuses. And my grades are already bad in those two classes, which I have the shit ton of online work to do. So I'm just kind of like, <sighs> I got no one to blame on myself. So I think as much as I hate waking up early in the morning, I'm going to try getting up like a, like an hour or two before school. And like try and walk there and be like, um, is the library open please? Please something... Something be open. I need a Chromebook. I need a computer. I need something. I'm begging. Like, I need to do my work. Like, <sighs> and for some reason, I've, like, developed this, like, disgusting habit of, like, because my lips are getting chapped, like, um, they're pretty, like, thin. The skin is, like, very thin and sensitive. And so every time I bite my lip, like, the skin breaks. And so then I have a habit, habit of, like, picking at the skin that breaks. And so, like, now there's, like, different patches of my lips that are, like, broken through and, like, just keep irritating. Like, my teeth keep irritating them and I'm just kind of like, you're dumb. Like, what are you doing to your body? Like, you're dumb. And I'm just like, I know. I know I'm dumb. Ugh. Also, remember, I think I'm, like, really dehydrated or something because, um... My pee is super dark, and if you didn't know, urine uh, changes colors based on, like, your body health. Uh, <laughs> it's red when you're, like, there's something wrong and, like, you're sick or something. And, like, usually it's, like, urinal infection or traction or something like that. And then usually you bleed. So, like, your, your urine is bloody then. And then um, there's also, like your urine gets really dark when you're dehydrated and then um 
it's really light or even clear when you're like super hydrated and there's such a thing as being overhydrated so like you have to find the perfect middle whatever um but my view was super dark this morning but i didn't really pay that much mind to it and i probably should have because i'm pretty sure i'm like super dehydrated because um i'm not really thirsty which is weird um but like i've just been getting like dizzy spouts and i'm like really like sluggish and like have a headache and so i'm like these are all signs of dehydration children learn from me <laughs> you should not learn from me i'm a terrible example of a human being um human being human being um but uh you can see my sock <gasps> oh my god okay um so yeah i'm pretty sure i need to like start chugging water or i'm gonna pass out or something wouldn't be the first time but like still it's kind of scary at least i'm not seeing black dots because like um like i i'm i i like i think i don't remember how old i was but like i was like on this hike trip field trip with like um a group of people and like it was like a school thing and we were like um i don't even remember where we were but we were somewhere and we were like looking at like um fake gold fool's gold or whatever and then like i didn't drink enough and they told me to drink but i was just kind of like eh. and uh we were like right in the middle of our trail and like there was like a, a rattlesnake or something and i got scared and then i <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, I kind of like, <laughs> oh, I think it was like part dehydration and part scared, but I kind of like sort of blacked out for like two seconds. Uh, which the warning signs before should have been a, like a hint because I was like really thirsty, but I didn't want to admit like because like my friends would have made fun of me because I was like um, telling them that I didn't need water and like stuff and like they were like you're gonna want water later and i was like no i won't and so i was kind of being a stubborn little bitch and didn't want to tell them and so i was really thirsty but i didn't say anything i'm like the hike was pretty long and i started kind of like getting a little dizzy and i had a headache but i just kept walking like a dumbass i didn't say anything and then the snake happened and i just kind of blacked out because i was just kind of scared and also dehydrated and just like god i'm a child that was so stubborn still i'm a child i act like i'm any different like no you're still the same dumbass child you were <sighs> also i was laughing at my outfit choice for today which i didn't even really choose it i just grabbed the first two things that i saw um that looked comfortable which was this this sweater which honestly it's a friend gave it to me and um, I don't know if I like it that much because it's just, it's very abstract. Um, it's like chevron. Hold on. Wee, can you see me? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, there, you can see my sweater now. And glare. But yeah, this is my sweater, which I guess is okay. I don't no, the design is a little bit iffy and then also it's a little small so like every time i reach up my belly makes an entrance <laughs> and i'm just kind of like uh, down down doggy like no one needs to see you <laughs> and then <laughs> these leggings though they're like old leggings that my grandma gave me and they're like <laughs> <laughs> They have these like weird thing on the bottom that you're supposed to hook at your heel, but I don't like doing because it drags my pants down. So, <sighs> and they're a little too short because they're for my five even grandma, but they're pretty comfortable. So they were they grabbed. But then I realized the outfit all together, I look like one of those like '80s people moms who's like you know those like dancing commercials from the '80s. Or the dancing shows from the 80s where they had their little jumpsuits that were chevron 
and then it was probably maroon like too and then like just for some reason dancing queen by abba is just playing in my mind and i'm just laughing because i look like i'm from the 70s or 80s i just need my scrunchie oh my god you know what i do have my scrunchie let's go full-on 80s vibe let's go <laughs> okay scrunchie scrunchie oh let's use the big one the big one <sighs> okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, this is complicated. Please don't fall. Really don't want you to fall. Who oh, should I do to the side? Oh my god, yes. Yes! Oh, I just not realized my hair is so short. It <laughs> it broke apart. Wait, no wait. I can redo this. Hold on. They did like um like the part up to wait. Did they be? <sighs> you can't see because it's out of frame. But my shirt is lifting so much. Oh my god. Okay. Ugh. this sweater this makes me feel it's like her because the belly is just making an entrance <laughs> but it shouldn't be <laughs> no one wants to see it <laughs> okay what is it? there look i look like from the 80s or the 90s actually didn't they do something like this too and then they had their little bobby pins everywhere and then yeah dancing queen do 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 Oh yeah. I don't know. <sighs> Probably just humiliating myself more than I usually do. Huh. <sighs> oh, whoops. Kind of just crashed. Oh, I'm just gonna keep this in my hair like all day. Just be like, hey grandma, look at my hair. <gasps> like, isn't it beautiful? <sighs> Ew. Why is my hair so big? Like, it's just, ew. Ew! <sighs> I feel like my hair is so, like, thick and, like, frizzy that it's, like, so wide on my face and it just doesn't fit. And I'm just kind of, like, <sighs> like, uh, uh, <laughs> it looks weird. But oh well, it looks kind of funny too. Um, what was that? I was just kind of like, hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. Other than I'm fucking screwed in the homework department. Also, very dehydrated, but don't really give a shit. <laughs> Also, just like the 80s. So mean. That's all that's fascinating about my life right now. Not that there's ever anything fascinating about my life. Because I have none. Um, and this mountain range is still there. Which I'm like trying to get rid of. But I don't know. Holy shit, what was that? It was like some... That's weird. You realize before your eyelashes don't really like match. They like go everywhere pretty much. That's so weird. Huh. Well look at those ugly bags. Like wow. <laughs> Honey, when was the last time you slept? I literally had four hours of sleep. <laughs> uh, please don't lecture me on my health. I already know it's terrible. But, like, I can't tell if it's, like, insomnia or just, like, my addiction to reading. I have no idea anymore. It's just kind of, like, really? Because I stayed up until, like, literally 5.30 in the morning reading. And then until I was just, like, too tired and the words started blurring. 
blurring and then I was like yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now because I literally can't open my eyes and it's like everything is blurry so I was like you know maybe I should go to sleep now <laughs> it's kind of scary and my teeth look like dolphin teeth like hello there I don't understand huh um Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm getting more freckles, which isn't that surprising because it's getting a little bit warmer. So, welcome to my more brown face. <laughs> it's like, I don't really tan, I freckle, but I don't really burn, so it's kind of like I start getting like slightly yellow, and then brown, and I'm just kind of like, what is this? What is this? Like, n n what? Like, either burn or brown. Like, there's, I mean, burn or tan. Like, there's only two options. But for some reason, my body's just like, nah. We're gonna settle for the happy middle. Where we slightly tan you, but not nearly enough to actually be considered a tan. And then, the rest of your body is just gonna be covered with more freckles and moles. Like, really? Like, really? Like, oh, so helpful, Irish heritage. Oh, so helpful. Uh. I think I'm gonna keep this in my hair all day. It's kind of fun. Just kind of like being like, woo. Oh my god, that reminds me. I remember we had crazy hair day in elementary school and I didn't really have any hairspray or anything to do with my hair. So I literally just put it in ponytails, like a bunch of German ponytails around my head. And like this one kid was making fun of me. And he was like, ponytail girl, ponytail girl. And I hit him in the face with my ponytail. I was like, come close. And he was like, hmm. And I was just kind of like, <laughs> And I hit him in the face with my ponytail. <gasps> oh my god, he should have seen his face. It was funny. And he was just kind of like, ponytail girl is mean. And then he jocked off. And I was like, damn right she is. It's kind of sad. I'm so I was so much braver when I was a kid, and now I'm just kind of like terrified and insecure, insecure about everything. <laughs> what went wrong? What went wrong? <laughs> the question I ask every day. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> um, I would be a terrible actress. I hate lying, and I I suck at it anyways. Prime example of me sucking at lying. Um, my friend Caleb, his birthday was is today, but we celebrated it Friday, kind of. And my friend Miss Planner, she's like she has a plan for everything. I swear, like apocalypse, she's gonna be ready for it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be the first person to die because I'm a dumbass, I'm slow, and have no memory or survival instincts whatsoever. <laughs> um. But, um, anyways, so she got him a birthday card and had us all sign it. It was so cute. But the last friend for, like, to sign the card, we were trying to, like, get her to go into the bathroom um, so she could sign it because we didn't want Caleb to know. Um, and I couldn't think of a good lie, so it was like, come to the bathroom with me. Michelle wants to see, and she was like, why? And I was just kind of like, um, um... She wants you to suck her cock. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> just like, really? Like, that's the best like you could come up with in the moment? Like, really? Like, okay, first of all, Michelle doesn't even have a cock. So I know what? Like, what? Like, W-H-A-T, what? Like, <sighs> oh my God, I just now realized I sound like, um, What's her name? You remember the Hannah Montana? I can't speak. <laughs> you remember the Hannah Montana show? She used to be like, almost every episode she would have something and it would be like a long spiel and then at the end she would be like, say what? That's kind of what I sounded like. Oh, memories. I used to love that show. My cousin and I used to fight over that show all the time because I always loved Miley Cyrus. She loved Hannah Montana, so we would fight over it all the time. Like, who was better, Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus? And my my mom and aunt used to try and, like, tell us. 
they're literally the same person. This one is wearing a wig. But we always refuted them and we're like, nah, no, they're different. They're better. Mine is better, blah, blah, blah. Um, man, my cousin and I fought constantly. Like, oh my God. She was like, she's like the closest thing to a sister I've ever had. Because we fought so much. It was ridiculous. Like, food, we fought over. The bath, we fought over. Clothes, toys, literally anything you can think of, we fought over. <laughs> um, so I'm slightly older than her, so I would always be like, use the, I'm older, so I get this excuse. <laughs> and so, yeah, but she always usually got her way because she was younger and more adorable than I am. Cause let's be real. This face ain't cute. <gasps> um, she honestly was adorable though. She has like little blonde pigtails, really thin, fair skin, and like blue eyes. And she just, I miss Taylor. She was adorable. My cousin. I don't know. Really, I don't. I think she's in like South Carolina or somewhere now. But I don't have her number, so I can't talk contact her. It's really sad. Cause I'm gonna miss her. And as much as I hated her when I was little, <laughs> we fought over everything. I think our biggest fight though. Well, there were two big fights. One of them was when she literally shat in the fucking tub. Like, I, I shit you not. <laughs> literally. <laughs> she... Mm. Okay, so we used to take baths together because it was just more like... Uh, it saved money. And also, like, they just figured it was, like, quicker. <laughs> no, it wasn't quicker. It took twice as long because we would always fight over who got to be washed first. And, like... <laughs> And then they would leave us alone for two seconds and we end up like binding and clawing at each other and screaming at each other's faces. Oh, <laughs> fun times, fun times. But like the one time where I like, it literally like, like made me hate baths. Cause she, she literally was just like, um, I probably should have listened to her. Cause she kept being like, I had to go to the bathroom. And I was just kind of like, no. I don't care. And then, because they left us alone because they thought we could handle ourselves. <laughs> really, a seven and like five to six year old can handle themselves together when they bicker constantly. Like, really, good job, mom and aunt. Like, really, you really thought we could handle each other? Like, no, no. <laughs> so she literally shot in the tub, and I just kind of like freaked out and like, just. Mm. <sighs> it's disgusting though because I remember I was just kind of like playing around with my toys being like you stay on that side of the top I don't like you get away from me and then I see this like slowly floating little brown blob <laughs> and then the smile hit me and I was just like ah! mom <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then our second biggest fight was in my room because I went to school and she wasn't starting school yet. Um, and then I came home and like I noticed that like everything in my room was scattered around my toys because I had this like, you know those like plastic, like clear plastic, like they're like, they used to use them for moving kind of. And then they have the little like fold over tops. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Usually they're like, you, like the top is either red or blue. And it's like, you can like, it's the plastic and you kind of like overlap them like a puzzle and they piece together. And then the bottom is like giant, like clear plastic Tupperware almost. Um, well, I had that in my room and it was filled with toys. And one of my favorite toys that she hated cause she wanted it, but she couldn't cause they didn't let her touch it. Um, was this like Hannah Montana, like karaoke microphone. <laughs> I think it came with a guitar too, but neither of us really cared for the guitar. We both really just liked the mic. Um, and so she she went in my room while I was gone for school and then I came home and she like had completely destroyed my room because she like, like took everything out of my Tupperware with the toys and just like threw them around the room. And then the one toy that was missing was you guessed it the microphone and then i went over and stormed over 
to her room and she was over there playing around with the microphone and I was like, hey, like, I was just like so mad. I would like, I swear, they spent like an hour trying to separate us and like, oh my God, I hated her. I hated her so much when I was little. <laughs> oh, it was so much fun though. And I think like, she just really just didn't like I think she was just, I didn't like her because I just thought she was like a hindrance and annoying. And I think she didn't like me because she was kind of like jealous because I was like slightly older. So like, and all of the kids in our neighborhood were slightly older too. So like I hang out with them and she would kind of like tag along, but I would kind of be like, go away, I don't like you. And then like, she kind of got left behind a lot, which I kind of regret because that was really mean. I was a mean child. Oh, I was so mean. <laughs> regretting life decisions much <laughs> mm, probably not though it was fun oh i remember she didn't let go this one time though because <laughs> i was very chicken shit and um scared of a lot of things um but i i was oh, I don't fucking know how to explain myself when I was a kid. I can't even explain myself now. But when I was a kid, there were certain things that I was, like, determined to do. And I didn't care how scared I was to do it. I just wanted to do it. And so I did it. And then little things would terrify me. Like, like mosquitoes, for example. Like, I remember I was, um, <coughs> we had these, like, little Mexican, um, twins that lived across from us and i would go visit them all the time because they were closest and they were the more fun um because they had this like big room because they were twins and then they were also like twice as fun and just like and they also had like a wii i think they had a wii or something too and like a big tv so i was always like going over to their house because their plus their mom cooked like good ass mexican food like it was so good it was <sighs> Okay, but anyways, um, so I would go over to the house all the time, and then this one time we were, like, I was kind of spending the night, and we were at the porch, um, sitting and talking to each other, and then a mosquito landed on my arm, and I remember I screamed so loud, and it wasn't a short little scream, it was a very loud, drawn out, horror movie scream like being as dramatic as possible scream and my mom was like store across from us and she literally heard me and like ran out of the house and was like what and i was just still screaming <laughs> over this damn mosquito and it was gone already like i think i scared it or something and it like flew away and i was still screaming thinking it was still on me and it was just like my mom took me home and apologized and i was still screaming <laughs> I never claimed to be smart or a good child. <laughs> but <laughs> ew, spit. But mm mm. Ah. Mm mm. Oh, That's so ridiculous. Mm. -mm. <laughs> ah. That was nostalgic. That was nice. Uh, and I'm actually genuinely smiling for once, so that's good. Because before I was kind of just like, I don't know. I don't know what I was, but it was not smiling. And now I'm smiling because I'm just thinking about, it's funny, like, I always spent time with my cousin who was just like a complete bitch. And just pussy. And it's like, really? Like, what the fuck was wrong with me? I mean, there's still fucked up shit about me, but like, when I was younger, I was just, I was a piece of shit. A little tiny piece of shit, like hmm. it's ridiculous. Okay, this is this is going on for like thirty nine minutes. I mean twenty nine minutes. So I think I'm gonna end it here. With my hair. Oh, oh my god! Wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna try something. <laughs> there. Now we can end it.